Hey everybody, Mike here and welcome to the channel. Well, today we're in Maya 2023 and we're looking at one of the new features. And that feature is the blue pen. It's awesome. It's a replacement for the old uh, grease pencil tool and it's located in the panel here. So you got view, shading, lighting and so forth right there. Right on that you have the little crayon type deal and because it's new there's kind of a square around it and if you click on that you'll get this menu. Let's turn it on. It was actually on already, All right? Okay, so once you click on that, you have all these options up here and they are awesome for a couple of reasons. One, if you're into animation and you want to kind of uh, sketch out your next frame, right? And then jump back and forth and so on, you can do that. But you can also use it to explain, for example, what you're doing in your scene, what you're modeling to a colleague, to your boss. Maybe you're making tutorials and you want to explain it that way. And you can simply do all sorts of things. You can start off with this guy right here, which is a pencil, and you can just drag and draw and do whatever you want, right? I'll just hit Control Z to undo. You can go to a brush. You can use that brush like so. And if you hold down the B and the drag, you can make it bigger or uh, smaller. So let's do that. Boom, there you go. And you can see the difference here because it has kind of this mist around it. That's why it's a brush. We're gonna do the next one, which is an eraser. And again, that eraser, you hold down B and click and drag to make it bigger or smaller. And let's just erase some of this stuff like so. Pretty neat. Let's make it a bit bigger so we can erase all of this. Cool, cool. Get rid of that. There you go. And then we have the text tool. So you can go in here and you can type whatever you want. And that is actually Greek uh, for MA tutorials is awesome. Haha. <laughs> Let's do uh, control Z to go back. We've got a line tool. Click and hold and then drag it wherever you want. And again, if you want that line to be thicker, you can hold down B and drag. There you go. Control Z to go back. What else we got? We got the arrow tool, which is kind of neat. You click, you point to wherever you want to go and you let go and boom, there's your arrow, right? We have the circle tool, the oval circle tool. Yeah, you can make an oval. I think if you hold down control, I didn't try that just yet. Yeah, if you hold control and you do that, no, it's actually not gonna make a perfectly symmetrical circle, but that's fine. Anyway, circle tool. The rectangle tool, like this, awesome, awesome. So what about the next one? Well, that is if you want to move one of the pieces of sketching that you did, right? So I'm gonna click on this, which will uh, let me create a red box like so. And I'm gonna drag it around whatever I want to move around, hit enter. And now I can actually do so. All right, cool, right? Okay, what else have we got? We got um, the color. You can change the color if you like. You can go in here, change it to let's say red, and then you take this guy again, and there you go. Uh, what else we got these two which are super important for animation and this is the previous ghost image and the uh, next ghost image so if you are using this tool uh, to sketch for your animation what you can do is on frame one you uh, sketch something like a guy uh, I don't know running uh, whatever yeah, I mean, you can see that my drawing skills are awesome, right? Okay, and then you can jump to the next uh, frame, right? And you can draw another one. And we can even go in here and take the next color and do this and this and this and this and this and this, like that. And then you can go and jump to the last one, as you can see here, right? So jump forward and jump backward. That's how that works, right? So yeah, there you go. That's the blue pencil tool. Uh, pretty sweet, right? Uh, let me know in the comments if you think it's useful, whether you're gonna use it, and if you're gonna use it, what you can use it for, right? That's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next one. Bye.